We've seen that the premises of an argument are the statements that set forth the reasons or evidence, and that the conclusion of the argument is the statement that the evidence is claimed to support or imply. These are the pieces of an argument or what makes up an argument. So here's an example of an argument. If I said all film stars are celebrities, Halle Berry is a film star. Therefore, Halle Berry is a celebrity. You might easily be able to identify the first two statements as the premises and the last statement as the conclusion. But how did you do that? Do you just naturally know things about arguments? Probably so. Because what we have typically, because this is not an exhaustive list, what we have typically are words that are used, indicator words that provide clues in identifying the premises and the conclusions in an argument or conclusion in an argument. Some typical conclusion indicators or indicator words are things that you're already familiar with, like the word therefore. In the argument above, we knew that therefore Halle Berry is a celebrity meant that it indicated that whatever followed the conclusion indicator word could usually be identified as the conclusion. So here, Halle Berry is a celebrity is the conclusion of this argument. There are other conclusion indicators like wherefore, thus, consequently, and other less familiar ones like we may infer or accordingly, we may include, it must be that for this reason. An interesting one is so, entails that, hence it follows that, implies that, or as a result. Again, whenever a statement follows one of these indicator words, it can usually be identified as the conclusion. And by process of elimination, the other statements in the argument are the premises. So what are some typical premise indicators? What if there isn't a conclusion indicator? If an argument does not contain a conclusion indicator, it may contain a premise indicator. One important one is the word since, so I'll put an asterisk by it, because we mean since as in because, not since in the temporal way. So it doesn't mean since something has happened in the uh, sense, S-E-N-S-E, -E, of time, like since the advent of agriculture, uh, human history has changed significantly. We mean because, not since in the way that we think about time. Other premise indicators are things like as indicated by, the word because, for, in that, may be inferred from, as, given that, seeing that, for the reason that, in as much as, and owing to. So if you see, any of the indicators that are listed on page three, conclusion and premise indicators in your textbook in section 1.1, whatever statement follows a conclusion indicator is very likely to be the conclusion and whatever statement follows the premise indicator is highly likely to be a premise. So for example, if I said expectant mothers,
should never use recreational drugs since the use of these drugs can jeopardize the development of the fetus. You could probably easily identify where the conclusion is and where the premises are. So <clears throat> there isn't a conclusion indicator in this argument, but there is a premise indicator, the word since. So we have expectant mothers should never use recreational drugs. Why? Because or since the use of these drugs can jeopardize the development of the fetus. So the why is always going to be the premise. And the reasons that the why is given is always going to be the conclusion. <clears throat>